Welcome to the uh, next video. This is basically just a frequently asked questions video where um, we go through a list of questions and uh, explain what the cars like to drive and uh, yeah. Right, so what's our first question? How fast does it go? Uh, well, I'm guessing about 140 k's an hour would be the absolute maximum top speed I'll ever get out of it, I think. Yeah, that would be in a vacuum. Okay, how far can it go per charge? I haven't drained the batteries flat yet, but um, I've got about 35 k's out of half a charge so far, so I'm guessing if I could double that, that's, um, that's about 70 k's per charge, but uh, that would mean draining the batteries right down flat, and I try not to do that if possible, so half a charge is cool. How long does it take to charge up? Uh, half a charge normally takes overnight, um, only because I'm using really cheap, nasty um, three and a half amp chargers to keep the cost down. Uh, yeah, I could always put bigger charges in at a later date and get better mileage. So, so what kind of acceleration does it have? Uh, not bad, not bad. It gets um, what zero to fifty k's an hour in uh, was it five point four seconds? I timed it on my phone, uh, which is not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the 0 to 100k uh, time is uh, just yet. I haven't had a, uh, an open road to try it on yet, but I'll get to that. But yeah, under under 50k's an hour, it's actually pretty impressive for, uh, for an electric car. So. Cool. And how heavy is the car? Uh, it's 1180 kilos, which is just a little bit over the standard weight. It's about 200 kilos over the standard weight. So how much does it cost to actually rent the electric car? Oh, well, I'm, I've estimated it's around about $2 per charge uh, and hopefully now that we're just about to install a hot water cylinder wrap because that's quite warm uh, we should be able to bring it down to uh, around about nothing a week with a little bit of luck so I'll let you know. The other questions I've had are uh, how do you change gear without the clutch? It's actually not very hard, it takes a couple of seconds longer than, um, than if you had a clutch, but you just have to take it out of gear, let the uh, gearbox spin down a little bit, then you can slot it straight into third. Uh, it's not normally a problem because you leave it in second gear for all your round town driving anyway. Um, some other questions I've had is, uh, how do you stop that whining noise that the controller makes? And the answer is you don't, you learn to love it. Um, it's, it's built into the controller. Uh, it's called pulse width modulation, I think, um, uh, which is where it basically drops the voltage at low motor speed, and that, that creates that noise you can hear. Another question some people have asked is, uh, why not install a generator to recharge the batteries while you're driving along? Uh, unfortunately, that wouldn't work. You'd end up putting more energy into turning the generator than the generator would generate. Uh, so unfortunately that wouldn't work. Same goes with putting like a wind turbine on the car. You'd end up using more energy, more electricity to power the car and the wind turbine than you'd get back out for the, from the, um, from the uh, generation there. Uh, so there are a lot of people out there that say that motors exist that um, generate more electricity than you can actually put in, but you know, I'm a bit of a skeptic so I haven't, uh, I haven't seen those just yet. Uh, what's next? Um, what happens when I want to drive long distance? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we've got a couple of options. We can either um, take a plane uh, or borrow a car. I mean, we save over $2,000 a year in, in, um, in fuel now, so, so we've got a little bit uh, aside for, um, for taking planes and, uh, and for luxuries and stuff. So, uh, of course, Rob's offered for me to borrow his car whenever I want to, as long as I give it a wash, so it sounds like a good deal. Uh, another one, why don't you tow a generator on a trailer for a long distance driving? And I have thought about it, um, but it turns out I'd need a generator weighing around about a ton uh, and uh, uh, costing about the same as the Tredia conversion um, just to generate enough power to get up some of the massive hills. Um, it's just not worth, the, uh, not worth the cost and the effort, so it's easier just to keep the car as a round town vehicle and just borrow a car or take a plane when you want to go long distance. Uh, what else? What would I do differently next time? Yeah, well, huh. second conversion is always the best, I've been told, so and it's probably true. Uh, what would I do differently? I would probably get a, a much more sleek aerodynamic car. The um, the aerodynamics, or, or should I say, the Brico dynamics of the uh, of the Tredia aren't that hot. So, 
uh, I'd probably get a, a, a smaller, lighter, um, cooler looking car that's a bit more modern as well. Uh, no rust. If you're going to convert a car, don't get one with rust. It's just not worth it. You'll end up spending so much time and effort and money replacing the rust or repainting the panels. Uh, I'm never doing that again. Uh-uh, no way. I said that last time I did painting and, and, and all that stuff, but no. This time, for, for sure, I'm never doing it again. Um, what else would I do uh, differently next time? I'd probably use more powerful battery chargers as well. I don't like having to wait a whole night just for half a charge. Um, so I'd recommend also um, get some at least at least 5 to 10 amp battery chargers if you're going to do the same charging method I've used. Uh, what else? Um, what's it like owning an electric car? Uh, brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. I've driven past about 20 petrol stations over the last week and it's been fan-bloody-tastic. Uh, we've clocked up, um, gee, we've clocked up about 150 kilometres uh, so far, which is um, which is not bad for a week's driving. We had to put the put the effort in, but we've done it. Uh, no, it's been marvellous. It's been marvellous. We've we've saved at least fifty dollars a week in fuel with the current price of gas. It's uh, it's a dollar sixty-seven a litre at the moment, uh, which is um, whatever it says down the bottom there in uh, in US gallons and all that. Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty satisfying. Pretty satisfying driving an electric car. I uh, seem to be getting a lot of attention as well. I've been in the paper a couple of times and on TV. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. There's no um, there's no downsides anyway. It's only, it's only good. So can't go wrong with that. Uh, what else? Uh, would I convert another car? Uh, yeah. Now now that I know it's a piece of cake, I'd definitely do it again. I think the question is probably uh, when would I convert another car, not if. Uh, so. Uh, if you're actually looking for places where, where to get ideas and inspiration, you've got questions, um, check out DIYElectricCar.com. Uh, that's a, a forum there that I hang out at quite a bit. It's pretty good. Lots of people um, uh, explaining what they've done and what not to do. Uh, a few pros on there giving me advice. That's where I go to ask, ask all my stupid questions, so you probably see me on there quite a bit. Uh, and also, uh, if you're looking to get ideas on what other people have done and what sort of specs they've achieved, um, check out evalbum.com, which is also uh, also pretty good. Uh, quite a scientific uh, layout of times, costs, motors, controllers, all that sort of stuff. Um, you'll even see the Treadier on there. It's uh, it's quite a good website, very handy. It's where um, all kinds of EVs go on there. Uh, even, even EVs you wouldn't actually think. That's why I found out so many other Kiwis in New Zealand are converting their cars, just by looking on there. Ah, oh, gosh. Um, well, that's pretty much it. That's all the questions I've had. I, have, I hope I haven't bored you all to death. I know it's not the most exciting video compared to all the others, but it is kind of important because hopefully people will see this before emailing me 30 times a day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, I don't mean that. Please feel free to email me. I'll try and answer your emails whenever I can anyway. Uh, so the next video coming up is uh, a bloopers video. Yeah, as you can imagine, over eight months I've, uh, I've made quite a few cock-ups and a lot of them have been caught on film. Uh, you'll probably see the one where I just spilled my tea there. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not. The, I'm, I'm actually a bit clumsy. Um, it may not look it on the videos, but yeah, I am a bit clumsy. So uh, it's proven to be quite a laugh. I've even fallen out of the engine bay once. I think twice, but only once was caught on camera. So <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for uh, for watching the conversion series. Um, there's going to be more videos coming up as well as. Uh, as I familiarise with myself with the car and uh, and all that, but I'm probably putting you all to sleep now, so um, I'll go and work on the bloopers video. So, thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.